Are you looking for the best amp under $150 and are you wondering if the Orange Crush 20 is worth your money? Well, I want to review this amp and I want to demo three settings for you. And along the way, I want to give you five reasons why this may be the best amp under $150. But I also want to give you two reasons why it might not be the best amp under $150 for you. Hey, I'm Derek at 5-Minute Music and I have over 25 years experience playing the electric guitar, doing some live sound, some recording work, teaching students how to play the guitar and use their amps. And I am excited to help you figure out, is this the best amp under $150 for you? So let's get started. So let's do the first reason why I think this amp is the best amp under $150 for you. And that is that it sounds great. It really sounds great through the various tones. It sounds great and it's hard to make it sound bad. That's a good sign. And the second reason goes along with it. This amp sounds great at low volumes as well. Sure, you can crank it up and it creates some sound, but it also sounds good at lower volumes. Some amps, that's not the case. You start to roll off the volume and they start to sound muddy and weak or thin. Not this amp. You roll it off and it gets softer, but the tone stays pretty good. And I want to demonstrate this for you. So let's get to the first setting. So I want to demo the crunch tone for you. And I'll put the settings below in the description. And they don't have numbers on their settings. They have hash marks. And so the first hash mark is what I call zero. And then one, two, three. Well, this one's going to be on four. I'm going to play for a second. And I'm going to turn it down a little bit and let you hear that the tone sounds still pretty good. Here we go. Turn this tone down to two. So first of all, if you like that, would you click the like button and let me know that you're enjoying this content that I'm bringing to you. Now, you'll notice at four, the sound was a bit fuller and bigger, but when I turned it down to two, it was softer, but it still had a good tone. So yeah, this amp is great at lower volumes, which makes it a good practice or bedroom amp. So you have to think about context. Is this the best amp under $150? Well, what are you gonna be using that amp for? If it's for bedroom practice, this will do a really good job. Now, the third reason why I think this is a really good choice, maybe the best amp under $150 for you, is that it's a two-channel amp, which means you can plug in the foot switch in the back and you can play heavy, like for instance, that was the dirty channel that I was just playing for you, and you can click and go to the clean channel. So what I wanna do real quick is I wanna demo a clean sound for you and let you hear that tone. So that's on the other channel, here we go. Now, let's go to the fourth reason why I think this amp could be the best amp under $150 for you, is that it, it's rock solid quality. There's nothing about this amp that's cheap. I, the first thing I thought when I pulled this thing out, set it up, I was like, man, this thing is solid. The construction is solid. The knobs are all well placed and feel great. My son, he actually was kind of toying with it. And he said, man, these are very satisfying. Those are his words, like he was turning the knobs and he liked the way they felt. Nothing feels cheap and plastic about this amp. It feels solid. Which brings me to the fifth reason why I think this amp may be the best amp on $150 for you. It's small and it's portable. I mean, this thing, it's solid. It's got a good heft to it, but overall it's really lightweight and it has a small footprint. So this is something you can tuck in your closet or under your bed and then when you wanna play, pull it out. It's super easy, or if you wanna go over to a friend's house, just grab the cable, grab it, and go. It's awesome. But with this small footprint, it still delivers a really great tone. As a matter of fact, now I'm gonna do a higher gain sound for the third setting. And remember, the settings will be below in the description. Here we go.
thing I like about the high gain setting too is that even though it's churning out this really big sound, you could hear the notes, like almost kind of a chime to them and you could hear the notes of the chord clearly. Very cool on a high gain setting. So there you go. Now, as promised though, I'm gonna give you two reasons why this might not be the best amp under $150 for you. And here's the first one. There are no effects on this amp. Unlike the Fender Champion 20, for instance, where there's a ton of effects, this has no effects. So, if you're like me and you don't have any pedals, um, that could be a problem. If you're wanting to produce a sound soaked in reverb that has chorus on it, or has vibrato, or you know any other effect like that, that could be a problem. But maybe it's not a problem if you just want some straightforward rock and clean sounds, this will do it. Now, here's the second reason why this might not be the amp for you. It doesn't have a wide range of tones. It has a great clean sound, and the clean does break up around four or five as you turn it up. That's really cool. And the distortion's a great sound, but there's not three different kinds of cleans and four different kinds of distortions. So if you need more variety, this is not the amp for you. But if you like what you heard, if you like the crunch sound, the clean sound, the high gain sound, and you're thinking, my goodness, this is a great amp, down in the description section below where it says buy now, you can click, I'm an Amazon affiliate, and at no extra charge for you, I get a small commission if you buy the amp. It's $139.99 with, uh, with a little bit of tax. It was around $150, $151, depending on where you live. And it was delivered to me in two days on the weekend, which is awesome. Now, if you have any questions about this amp, drop me a, uh, a comment below. You'll see where it says question of the day. What do you need to know about the Orange Crush 20? Let me know, I'd love to hear it. And also too, I encourage you, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the bell. And I emphasize hit the bell. If you don't hit the bell, you won't get notifications when I produce new content like this. But if you hit the bell, you'll be the first to know and can check out more reviews of this product. And maybe I'll have a Fender Champion 20 versus Orange Crush 20 coming up in the future. You'll wanna know about that. So thank you for your time as always. God bless, have a great day, bye.